I know this is probably a little ghetto and all that, but it's really hard. I'm trying to do a mukbang story time. It's really hard to like get everything set up to where you all can see the food. And you know, it's just really hard to do. So my food is probably cold now, but it's okay. I'm gonna tell you how everything that I have, show it all to y'all. I barely got everything in the picture, but we just have to work with what we got. Okay. So, let me just tell you all what I got. I got this from Red Lobster. It's not my favorite restaurant, but I wanted some seafood and they season stuff pretty good to me. So, I got this loaded baked potato. Everything's cold now, just to let y'all know I got this loaded baked potato. I got this broccoli. I got shrimp scampi, cinnamon like shrimp or garlic sauce or whatever. And then I have three lobster tails. There we go, I have three lobster tails, okay? This is really hard to record. And then I have some cups. So, and I don't even know if this story is gonna be long enough for me to like eat all of this. But yeah, I got me a good old Coke. I don't really drink Coke when I eat food because soda tends to like fill you up real fast. So, Ready? Let's get started. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna pour this butter because I love their um, seafood butter on everything. It's delish. Okay. So y'all, I'm gonna switch up the story. I actually want to tell a different story on here, but I wanna save it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna save that story. I'm gonna tell the story. So, I'm gonna, this story time is going to be about the time my car got vandalized. Now, this is a very overdue story time. Um, about two or three years ago, some things had went down on Snapchat uh, while I was like going off on this girl. And people were like, oh, when are you going to tell this story? When are you going to tell this story? So, some of you kind of know what I'm talking about and some of you don't. Salt and pepper. So, I mean, it's, it's a long story, but let me try to cut to the chase. So, this was so long ago. Y'all, this has been almost six years ago now. Almost six years ago. It's been that long. So, or maybe seven. Roughly six to seven years ago. Okay. Now, when I was um, a little bit younger, I used to do hair a lot or whatever. No, it's been longer than that. Anyways, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a really long time ago. Around the time when I was in high school, I used to do hair a lot. Like, I, hair used to be my passion. Like, business was booming, okay? So, I used to do sew wigs and braids and wigs and quick wigs, you know, the whole nine. That's my, that was my little side hustle before I had got a real job. So, it was this girl. Um... She asked me to do her hair. I did a couple of her friends' hair, whatever. So she asked me to do her hair. She wanted to sew, and I said, okay. Now, this girl always used to have, like, micros in her head and braids in her head or whatever. But she was always known to be, like, naturally bald head because when she had braids in her head, she used to always wear a headband because her edges were missing. Okay? So everybody knew she was bald. And I know a couple times she used to come to school or whatever with headbands and stuff on, you know, and her hair used to be in, like, a small, small ponytail because she was bald head. So, she, she asked me why I do her hair. I was like, okay. And so, okay, she comes over or whatever. And, well, I helped her pick out her hair. I got, like, some kind of Brazilian hair from LI Express or something. So, I helped her pick out her hair. So, the hair comes in and everything. So, she's like, girl, yeah, I'm ready to get my hair done. So, she comes over and stuff. And it was like, it was like really early in the morning. Y'all, she got to my house at like 6 o'clock in the morning. I was going to stay at my parents at the time. Oh, no, this was a long time ago. She got to my house at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Tell me why. I did not finish this girl's hair until like nighttime, like 7, 8 o'clock at night. Okay, she gets over there or whatever, so I actually see her hair. She don't have a lot of hair. Like, her hair barely fits into a freaking ponytail. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I was explaining to her. I was like, hey, you know, um, 
I can't really grip this. Like her sock, like her literally, legit. Her hair didn't start to like back. Like she didn't have any edges. So her hair didn't like start to like back here, almost behind her ears or whatever. She had a little bit of like sparse spots around her hairline, but it wasn't really nothing to grip or braid. And I didn't want to braid it. Like I was telling her, I don't feel comfortable braiding it. And throughout her head, like in the middle of her head, she had like uh, like ball spots and stuff like that. So she was like, oh girl, yeah, I already know about all that. You know, just do what you can. And if you can't grab my edges, that's fine because when I've gotten quick weaves and sew-ins in the past um they can't either i just wear i just wear a headband so basically i just need you to sew the hair in like basically in the perimeter like do a beehive and kind of sew it in i was like oh okay yeah cool so i start like braiding the girl's hair okay so as i'm braiding her hair she's super 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 tender headed i can't like braiding things she started jumping and howling and moving and I'm like, okay, so we took several breaks. She even was like, okay, I need to take a nap. I need to take a nap. Oh, whatever. So I let her take a nap. She took like a three-hour nap. Woke up and she was like, well, now I, I, I need to get a snack. I'm hungry before you start back. So I'm like, you know, like, dang. So, but I'm young. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So we go to Sonic. She get her something to eat. We come back. I finish braiding her hair in the beehive. Like, I literally left. I literally left like this much of the front out and it was literally just braids in the back because I couldn't catch anything else but she said it was fine because she was gonna just wear a headband oh, okay. which that's how we always seen her in school she always wore headband now I finally got the braids done and everything I finally got the braids done and everything and I sold the hair in so I sold the hair in and um, that took a long time too, cause like every time I was like sewing, she was like, oh, ouch, oh, 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 my hair is so tight, my hair, my hair's tight. But I did not braid her hair tight. I really did it or whatever, like, and I couldn't. It's like every time I would like try to braid it, she was like, oh, that's too tight. So I braided her hair looser, and I told her, it's just I can't braid your hair that tight. Um, it may not last as long. She's like, it's fine. I'm just really, really tender headed and stuff like that. So I was like, okay. So then, she, like, she, you know, I did her hair or whatever. She's like, oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's so nice or whatever. So, excuse me, she ends up leaving. So, um, she's just, you know, all on social media raving about her hair. About how much she loves it and stuff like that. So, three weeks pass by. Three, three, four, a month pass by. All of a sudden... I get a call. No, it was I get a text message of some pictures. Okay. Oh, the number wasn't saved in my phone though. I'm like, okay, who is this? So I opened it and it said it was like pictures of somebody's head where the hair was taken down. So I'm like, who is this or whatever? It was like ball spots in the head or whatever, everything. I'm like, what is going on? So I said, who is this? And so then they sent a picture of her. I'm like, what? So the person sent this long paragraph. And they were like cussing and everything. They was like, you did this to my homegirl head. And you need to give her a full refund. This is a full month after it was a, you need to give her a full refund. You taking her hair out. And look at all these bald spots. And you braided her hair too tight. You you uh, threaded it too tight also. And you need to give her a full refund. So I was just like, I was like, that has nothing to do with me or whatever. It's been a whole month or whatever. I said, I did not braid her hair tight. I asked her several times, do you want to stop? Do you don't not want me to do this? Because remember, it took me so long to even do the hair because she was so tender. I asked her. And even before we even started, I was like, okay, you know, in the middle of your head, you got these spots and stuff like that. And then it was shown like in the picture, it was like sores in her head and stuff. So I'm like, and then whoever this was that was texting my phone and say it was a hunger, was just like, she got sores in her head and you see all these ball spots. And I'm like, and then she was like, she's in a lot of pain. She can't stop crying because her hair missing and she got all these sores. I'm just like, okay, that has nothing to do with me or whatever. Like, I okay, 
that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And I'm not giving nobody no full refund. She was like, no, you need to give her a full refund. Um, cause you did this and you need to refund her. I feel like you should pay for the hair that she bought offline. Why? For what? Why why would I have to for one, she's not getting a refund. And for two, why should I have to pay for the hair that she bought? So, you know, me and the, me and the person we arguing back and forth. So, at the time that happened, I was working at this restaurant also. Hair was my side hustle, but I was also working at this restaurant, this sports bar. So, a lot of people knew where I worked at or whatever that came up to visit me and work and everything. So, where I worked at had like this big parking garage. So, after all these people was just calling and texting my phone, like, if you don't get her her money back, we're going to do this, this, that, and the third, and all this. So, I go to work, okay? So, I go to work, and I get off. So, oh, I'm sorry. I go to work, and I get off around, um... Around 3, 3.30 because the place didn't close until 2 o'clock. Sometimes it took us a long time to clean after they were closed. So I get off around like 2.30, 2.45-ish, okay? So in the, I have to, I would always walk by myself because it was like we would all walk together like out the building, but we all parked in like separate areas. And even if somebody else parked in the parking garage, like some people would park up like on the third floor, second floor, first floor, whatever. So I was on the first floor of the parking garage. It was second floor of the parking garage. So I walked to my car. My friend, she was on the first floor. She's like, you want me to walk with you? I was like, no, no, it's cool, whatever. I was like, my car's just right here. I walked to my car. And my car is scratched up. Like, it's scratched the hell up. It's like, got B-word written on it. It's like, that somebody just took a key and just, just scratched the whole thing up. So, I'm like, okay. So, they playing card games. I can't stand for nobody to mess with my stuff. Don't mess with my car. Don't do that or whatever. Don't do that. I had already told a girl. When I was arguing with the girl who had texted me and sent me the pictures, it was other people texting my phone too. So, I was telling, I'm like, what's up? We can meet up. After I get off work. We can meet up, we can fight, we can do whatever. But see, they was talking about jumping. They weren't talking about fighting or whatever. They're like, oh, we're going we gonna to catch you. And when you least expecting it, just know we're going to be there or whatever. And we all coming for you. We come as a pack. We fight together and all that. So I'm like, what? So, when I see my car again, I'm texting the girl. I'm calling her and everything. So... She's not the actual girl, not the other numbers. But I'm texting the girl, I'm calling her, whatever. The call's not going through. It's like I'm blocked or something. So then I get on Twitter. Around time Twitter was booming. And she puts her and her friend, one of her friends that I know, we all went to school together, puts on there, uh, yeah, karma is a bitch. And she just found that out tonight. So I said, I was like, I commented on there. Like, I, no, I retweeted it. And, like, when I retweeted, she heard and deleted it or whatever. But I had already screenshot it. So, after that, I'm mad. You know, I'm posting stuff on social media and stuff like that. So, I'm just like, you really, y'all really want to mess with my car or whatever. Like, y'all bogus for that. Like, we just, I'm just mad. You know, I'm going in on social media and I say this. So, she want to try to deny it, trying to say she didn't do it. Then, a couple days later, somebody put all four of my ties on flat. That's how I know them hoes was playing me. So now I'm mad or whatever. So I had to contact the police and I was telling the police about it. So the police was like, well, you don't have any solid proof that they did it. I'm like, okay, all these numbers been calling and texting me, threatening me. And it's just crazy how this happened the same night that that happened. And they were saying they're going to do this and that. I can not look at this tweet that she, that she did on the same night that my car got, got vandalized. They said that there was not, there was not enough proof. I was like... Are you kidding me? So I'm like, okay, well, I might as well take my matters in my own into my own hands. Like a lot of people do in a lot of situations. Cops don't help, so they take matters into their own hands. And once they take matters into their own hands, what happens? They go to jail. But I mean, what else to what else could can you do, you know? So I so what happened was I knew where the girl worked at too. So I went up there. I ain't messed with her car out. Mm-mm. Went inside. Me and my cousin went up there. Went inside the place. She's a cashier at Brooks's. We went up there with her. I confronted her while she was on her register. Okay. She was trying to refuse us, like, to check us out. She was trying to call her sign before we came. Mm -mm. No, she was going to check us out. So, once we got up there, 
me and my cousin talking crap. And soon we walking up to the rent we're talking crap. Once we get on her line, we're talking crap. I was like, oh, you wanna vandalize my car? You wanna vandalize my car? You and your little experience, but you don't wanna fight though. But you don't wanna fight though. So me and my cousin, we just up in there lighting it up in butchers, okay? Like I'm lighting it up. I'm like, what's up? What's up? What's up? Like I'm loud or whatever. So it's security in there. So the security comes over or whatever. Boom, bam, we get escorted out. She's crying and everything. So it automatically looks bad because nobody really knows what's going on. They just see me and my cousin in here, you know, going at her. She's playing an innocent role. Just like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know these people. What is she talking about? I've never met her before. Like, she's playing this innocent role. Like, she don't know, really know what's going on. So I'm like, mm mm. Yo, she know. She know. Uh, something's going on, 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 on. But I'm like, yeah, she know what's going on. She better lost my car and that's it. Is. So she's still like, I didn't do it every day. I swear, I swear. So I'm like, no, she's lying. She's lying. So anyway, we get escorted out of whatever. Because we were sitting in here cool. We get escorted out. So my cousin was like, we can go back and lock her car right now. Right now. I said, no, I'm not going to mess with her car. I'm not going to do that. I want her. I want to beat that ass. I want her. So, because I had to purchase four new tires after I had just put four new tires on my car. Do you know how much brand new tires is? And I use, baby. Four brand new tires on my Honda City. That's what I was driving back then. I had to put four new tires on my Honda City. Bounce back, had to put four new, more new ones on there. Then, my car was all scratched up, so that's a pain job, too. Mm -mm. No, I want to touch her. I don't want to touch this car. She had one of them all beat down. Oh, oh, call barely moving calls. I don't want the call, baby. I want your face. So, some time went by. I had seen her in many other places. Every time I seen her, the girl taking off running somewhere, she hiding her face or something like that. Seen her in many different places, okay? Girl never did want to fight. And every time I tried to go up to her and do something, somebody holding me back. So, I never did get to get at the girl. Her mom and dad... And uh, her mom and dad end up calling the police. Okay. So, they end up alerting the police about it because they try to make it seem like their daughter was innocent. They was like, well, this girl and her friends, this girl and her friends coming at my daughter and she didn't do anything. And basically trying to say that we was threatening her daughter and she didn't do nothing. They feel like, she, they feel like her daughter's life is in danger. And I was like, you're just trying to say, she's trying to say my daughter did something to her car. My daughter didn't do it. And I was like this. But I had already heard that her mama already knew about it. And her mama was behind it too. So, and one, one of her best friends was behind it too or whatever. So, the cops had talked to me or whatever. And they was just like, they had came to uh where I worked at at the time. And they came and talked to me. And they was just to let me know that if I didn't, you know, stop. Um, I could have be facing like criminal charges because they trying to say that she didn't do whatever I said she did or whatever. So I'm showing them out of proof and then they still like, ma'am, that's not enough proof. I'm like, okay, cool. So time went by, time went by. I know she did catch up with the girl. So I ended up kind of like leaving it where it was because every time I did see her, she was running or they called the police on me. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I let it slide. But, how many years was that? About three years prior, it was my birthday. Me and my best friend ended up going to the boat or whatever. So we went to the boat. I was like, yeah, let's just get out the house or whatever. Girl, let's go to the boat. Let's have a good old time. So, we go. Well, we have a good time. You know, we here and we wear them. Good old time. So, we was walking through like the slots, trying to find like another slot to play. So we walking through the slots, and all I heard was every time walking, all I heard was <laughs> every time we walked by. So I'm like, what's going on? What my friend was like, what is that or whatever? And then I heard, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? So, I look over, it's one of her best friends that had something to do with it three years prior. 
I'm like, but I kept looking at them because, you know, you know how you know you know somebody, but you like keep looking at them because they kind of look unfamiliar. So, I kept looking at her when I'm like, oh, that's that girl. So then my friend was like, you know her or something? I was like, yes. So I ran into my friend. She was like, oh, that's her. I said, yeah. So my friend was like, uh-uh, don't do it. Don't do it. In a particular area, area we was in, you can't act up in that area because the cops be swarming crazy. Okay, but it's another city that's 30 minutes away that you can act up in. You can do whatever you want to do, and the cops don't really care. Okay, you can get away with murder in that city. So my friend was like, don't, don't act up, don't say nothing. But the girl kept like picking and like inching and inching and inching and on. So I'm like, I'm like, nah, she want me to say something. She want me to say something. So she was like, oh, so then I had said, I said, oh, something funny or whatever. Like we walked back where she was, whatever. My friend was like, Erin, don't, 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 don't. I said, no. So I go back over there. She was with her dude, her man. I said, oh, it's something funny. So then she talking about something. It might be. I said, oh, I right. or whatever. Meet me after I did. So we leave the casino or whatever. And we walk outside. So we in front of the door like arguing. Like we're going to fight. So the, the, the security at the casino. And you know. They ain't like no real cop. Cops and they just little security. I'm like, hey. You know, I'm going to take it somewhere else. So. That's why. Hey, y'all can take that somewhere else. Y'all can't do that in here. Y'all need to go somewhere else before we call the cops on y'all. So I was like, nah, I don't care. I don't care. So my best friend, she trying to home back. She's like, Harry's gonna go to jail. Go to jail. I was like, I don't care. They messed up my car. She think it's funny. She think it's funny. I don't care. I don't care. So she think it's funny. She laughing at everybody. I said, meet me. Meet me here. Meet me here. So I was telling her to meet me on this certain road or whatever because I used to stay on that road. No, I stayed over there at the time. Yo, you I can pretty it. much do what you want to do or whatever. And I knew who's going to be able to scrap and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, meet me over there on this road. Meet me on this road. I'm going to call it Pete Road. Meet me on Pete Road. Meet me on Pete Road because you already know. You already know. You think these uh laws up here going to protect you. You think these laws up here going to protect you. Meet me on Pete Road. Meet me on Pete Road. So I'm yelling or whatever. I'm because I was like, if you want to fight me, I swear to God, I'm going to slaughter you. So I'm just hollering. I'm yelling. Yeah. So the the uh, the uh security people would have like, man, call the, call the cops. Call the cops because they are helping to fight. I'm not to deal with it so the girl was like um the girl was talking all that big stuff so then she was like you know what i'm so grown for this i'm not even gonna fight you i'm so grown oh you so whatever so her boyfriend was like her boyfriend was like nah you gonna fight you gonna fight she was like nah i don't want to fight i don't want to fight but her boyfriend was like nah you gonna get out there you gonna get out there you gonna fight she was like i don't even want to fight like, no, I'm taking you over. I'm taking you over. There. Get your ass in the car. Get your ass in the car. Whatever. Hey, pushing her. He's pushing her to get in the car. So they get in the car. Or um, or we both get in the car. We like neck and neck. Like they in front of me. I'm behind them. We 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 hit the highway. Zoom. We flying. We go to war. Now, town like 15, 20 minutes away. Peach Street, Pete Road, like 15, 20 minutes away. We gone. Whatever. Fly, 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 fly. So I'm ready. You know what I'm just like? I've been waiting almost four years for this. I've been waiting almost four years. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm like, I'm going to beat her enough for her and her friends. So I'm ready. You know, I'm hyped up. I'm mad. I'm like, yeah, what's up? What's up? You know, I'm, ooh, I'm on 10. You know, I'm on a thousand because I really don't care. It's my birthday or whatever. I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm still mad about my car. You know, I tried to let this slide because her friend kept calling the police on me or whatever. So I let it slide. But now she want to dig up all stuff. So it's cool. We fly, we fly. I mean, 80 and a 60 ain't got nothing on what we was doing. Baby, we was hitting a hundred on the highway. Do you hear me? It's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, we zoom, we fly. We get right to the exit of Pete Road, y'all. Me and my, me and my homegirl in the car, her home in the car. We get right on the exit to Pete Road. So here we go, whatever. We just like this. Pete Road right here, okay? So, okay, let me show y'all. Well, I can do it like this. All right, so we 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 driving or whatever. We like this. Let me show y'all. Okay, so this Pete Road. All right, so we fly, we fly, we fly, we fly, we fly. But it's an exit right before Pete Road. Okay, they passed the exit, and then they veered out real fast, like. Shh! 
or whatever. Like he almost flipped the car because he was trying to get off on the exit real fast or whatever. Right before we turned off on Pete Road or whatever, he going straight, going straight, going straight. Then he said, or whatever. I mean, y'all, the car was literally on two wheels and I've never seen it before. He veered off so fast, but he made it seem like he was going straight because he almost completely passed that exit and he veered off or whatever. I couldn't follow him because I was already past him. So I get on there or whatever. I'm just like, um, I get on Snapchat because me and the girl, we was friends on Snapchat. I said, okay, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Whatever. The girl gets on Snapchat talking about some, she's so scary. I just asked her to meet me here and she didn't want to meet me. She's so scary. She knows she was finna get beat up. And I was like, ew. I'm like, really? Really? So I'm telling the girl, I'm sitting up here telling her, I'm like, on Snap, I said, meet me anywhere. I said, where y'all went? I know where road y'all got up on. I said, well, I'm turning around or whatever, and I'm finna come where y'all at or whatever. The girl ends up blocking me on Snapchat. My friend was still, my friend was to go at her or whatever. She on there talking about, she's so scary. She don't want to fight. She don't want to fight. She's so scary. I knew she was scary. She went about that life. Mm -hmm. I knew she was scary. She went about that life. All right. Girl, first of all, you don't want to fight. You begged your boyfriend. Not to let you fight me. He making you fight me. Then we get out onto the exit. Y'all veer off and leave. Really? Really? Or whatever. So we just going off like I'm, I'm on a thousand. I was so mad. I was, she was like, that's why we did that to your car. Four years ago, you were scared. I'm like, where is your location? I was like, Real talk. I'm sorry. Real talk. Where your location is? Where you at? Or whatever. Like, the whole time she doing all this talking on Snap or whatever, and she didn't block me, so I'm having to get on other people's pages and see. So I'm like, okay, so where you at? Let me know I'm pulling up anywhere we're going to scrap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try to be the bigger person to leave all that in the past, but she was picking first. So, she never did even her location or nothing. So, my friend was like, me and my best friend, we block it. We blocking around the city. So I'm like, I'm not going home. And so I follow her. I'm not going home. I don't care. I don't care. Or well, so I'm just going off. I'm just seeing how I ain't going home until I find her. And I don't care about none of that. And stuff like that. My friend was like, calm down, calm down. You know, I'm hollering. I'm doing everything. Then she going to round up to my son. Yeah, don't make don't make me play them police games like we was doing a couple years ago or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just on the happy Happen, happen, happen. So I'm mad or whatever. So my friend was like, just calm down because she's not going to get no location or whatever. But she just doing all this for show. And so, so my friend was like, just calm down. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I just let it fly, you know. And so people was people who had was following me on Snapchat, they was like, they was asking me what happened. I did a rundown on Snapchat. Like I said, this happened so many years ago. But I did a rundown on Snapchat, but I don't think everybody had, uh, had seen it. The girl was mad because... Um, her friend, she claimed that I had messed her friend up, but I really didn't. Her friend hair was already in that condition before I had did her hair. I made sure everything was okay with her before I had did it, before I started on it, before I continued and everything. You know, you know what I'm saying? She knew about everything that was in her head. She knew about the, the ball spots that was already in the middle and about how she didn't have no edge or anything. But then a month later, she requested a full refund or whatever. And then her mom was even talking about suing me. I'm like, okay, suing me? I don't have a license. Y'all knew I didn't have a license. You know, so you don't really have a case. And I know that people say you're really not supposed to be doing hair without a license. But you already knew that I wasn't licensed. So why did you even come to me? And no, I did not do your hair like that. Like I said, she was well aware. Her hair was in that state before she came to me. Okay, and she was aware of that. And it was many times I was telling her, okay, do you want to stop? You're like, no, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop or whatever. Then a month later, you want a full refund. Y'all are threatening me and all this stuff like this. He just turned into a real, real crazy situation. Like I said, like three, four years after that, your friend want to come bucking on my birthday. Mm-mm. So, you know, y'all, that's what happened, basically. I'm still mad about it, but... It legit happened so long ago. Like, it's been about, y'all, 
maybe in the beginning what I said four to six years it's probably been long this year. It, it's been a minute now but I'm still mad I know you post you ain't post the whole grudges cause life too short live by guns be by guns you know all this step itself but I girl not been lost my fault I had to ride around talk about a paint job all kinds of stuff on my car. She put all four of my ties on flat, left me stranded and everything. And then laughed about it. And then the police never did anything about it. So, I'm mad. I'm still mad. After all these years later, years later I'm gonna still be mad. You know? Then, she played the little innocent role. You know? Like, trying to make it seem like I was bullying her. And picking on her for no odd reason. Her and her mom did that. So, yeah. That's what happened. Let me know. What y'all think about this crazy story? I know this video been all over the place. So worry about that, y'all. This is my first, like, book bang story time for a long time. It's really hard to talk and eat at the same time. I feel like I ain't had the chance to, like, enjoy my food. You know, it's, like, stone cold. But, um, yeah, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this crazy crazy situation and uh yeah i'll see you on my next one